Hello and welcome to the third day in our series, looking at some of the words we sing when we worship together in sung worship. If you have missed either of the last two days, you can catch up on the Andover Baptist Church YouTube channel. I'm so glad that you have joined me today and I trust that you will find this of benefit to you wherever you are in your journey of faith at this time. I'm Andy and I'm part of the worship team here at Andover Baptist Church. Today we're going to look at a song called Highlands, which is a song we sometimes sing in our services. It is an unusual song title for a worship song, but the writer was inspired when in, in the Highlands of Scotland in a similar way to the origins of How Great Thou Art as explored a few days ago. So let's take a look at some of, the, some of this amazing song. Verse one is focusing on how I or we are desperate to spend time with God and that we would stop at nothing in order to be with him. If he were at the top of a mountain, we'd scale it. If the other side of the valley, we'd get there somehow. Verse two acknowledges that often we miss the point. We spend time and energy searching for God and we miss that he is already with us. We miss the fact that God's grace is descending much more strongly than we can counter. So let's just absorb it. After, these, after singing these first two verses, there is a pre-chorus which picks up on these two verses, acknowledging that God is right here with us in the highlands, the good times, and in the heartache. That is his nature. He wants to be with us always. And when we stop, look and listen, that sounds like a 70s road safety campaign, doesn't it? But we can see him right there with us. We'll come to the chorus shortly. Verse three continues this theme with the truth that God's authority is over all things and that, we, and that he even has power over sin and the sins of our past. Verse four really focuses on how much God wants us to turn to him and that whenever we do, he will come running to meet with us. Something that we read throughout the Bible, but in particular in the book of Psalms. Jesus and the Holy Spirit long to be with us through the good times and through the challenges. Again, there is a pre-chorus after these verses, acknowledging that only God himself in Jesus was and is worthy of being the perfect sacrifice for us, for me and you. No one else comes close. So the chorus is, like in many songs, our response to what we have sung. In this song, we are singing that we will praise God whatever the circumstances, whether there are mountains before us or valleys below, whatever obstacles or challenges there are, we will choose to worship. This is not always easy to do, but it is important that our faith in God and our relationship with him is not dependent on the direction of the wind or whatever else may be going on in our lives. Even through tears, through laughter, through pain and through elation, we can worship the one we call Good Shepherd, who like a lamb was slain for me. The bridge continues on this theme and has an interesting lyric regarding my song of ascent. This is slightly unusual, but the songwriter here is referring to our praises rising to God and the confidence that we can have in our resurrection. Not because of us, but because of him. Jesus has provided us with the salvation that we don't deserve, but one in which we can have utter confidence in. The final pre-chorus refers to Jesus' death and resurrection. It highlights that this appeared to be the very gravest situation, the gravest and deepest valley. But from this, Jesus rose triumphant, providing the grace that none of us deserve and leaving the grave empty. And our response? I will praise him on the mountain and I will praise him when the mountain's in my way. Today, let's find God in the shadows Let's seek him out because he is there. He is not hiding. We're just not looking or listening. And whether we are flying high or we feel like we are deep in the valleys, let's choose to worship him. Let's pray together, shall we? Lord Jesus, thank you that you never leave us. Thank you that in the heights you are there, in the depths you are there. And Lord, we are so sorry for the times when we've just not seen you. But Lord, today help us to open our eyes 
and to see you. Wherever we find ourselves, Lord, help us to seek you out. And our response is that we will worship you when we're feeling great, when we're feeling lousy, that we will worship you because you are worthy. Amen. Thank you again for joining me today. Pray that you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow.